26th of June 2011. Welcome along. It's Chris Reardon's United Kingdom Talk. A happy Sunday for, to you. And uh, if you're in the UK, we are set apparently today for a bit of a heat wave. Oh yes, those temperatures are climbing, boys and girls. You will need to wear tiny little skimpy shorts and tiny little vests and possibly a pair of Speedos. Come on, chaps. Get those Speedos. It's, it's only actually fat balding, middle-aged men that wear Speedos. And no, I don't wear them anymore. I gave them up one or two years ago. I'm, I'm into the shorts now. You know, the shorts with the elasticated waist so it can expand and contract as you grow fatter and thinner again. Actually, I haven't weighed myself for a while. Let me, go, let me just go and weigh myself, just a second. Stay there, because I haven't weighed myself recently. I'll be very happy if I'm 12 stone 7 or under, oh hang on, I'm carrying all my recording gear, really. 12 stone 7 or under, let's have a quick look, hang on a minute. I could have brought the camera out here I suppose, never mind, you're, gonna, you're just going to have to trust me. Come on, look at my little face. Well you can't at the moment because I've disappeared. 12 stone, come on up you come. Oh, 12 stone 7.6, that can't be complained. 12 stone 7.6, quite pleased about that. Which may mean, actually, I can't even, you know, my shorts will be too big now. I shall have to purchase some more. So there we are. That's the news. I hope you have a really uh, nice warm day here in the UK. Um, bit of a problem with the hedge at the moment. It's, I mean, I've never been one in the hedge in the garden. Never really been one to be able to cut in a straight line. But um, it appears that the it, it's grown in such a way that the hedge cutter isn't getting through some of the really thick branches that have gone, gone in the middle. And I'm not quite sure what to do. Has anyone got any experience in cutting hedges and could tell me what to happen? You know, usually you just go along the top and along the side and a little bits fall off. But there are now some larger branches that have kind of pushed their way through and are protruding and the thing won't cut through those. Do I just snip those with a pair of snippers and how far down should I go? Because I've got no idea. Please, someone let me know advice on that, please. My email address is chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. I still, some couple of people asking, do you still do your non-stop music mixes? Yes, I do. There's not so many of them now, but I do do those. Uh, they cost a total of 80 pence. Oh, come on, you can afford that. 80 pence, you pay through PayPal, and you can find those by going to chrisweirdenshow.co.uk. Just follow the instructions. Any trouble, send us an email and I'll try and help you out, okay? Once again, non-stop music mixes, that's all the latest stuff, all mixed into one long sort of hour and 15, an hour and 20 minutes all together. We'll go on a little CD if you want to burn it to that. And uh, once again, you can find those at chrisweirdenshow.co.uk, chrisweirdenshow.co.uk. Had a very nice uh, dinner on Thursday at my friend Justin's. Now, do you remember Justin? He used to, he, well, he still does. He runs a pub in Hemel Hempstead called The Steam Coach, where I used to work on a Friday night. Now, um, a couple of shows ago, I was telling you uh, I'm moving my Saturdays from Sundays, so Saturdays become free. And lo and behold, um, he would like two out of the four Saturdays in the week. You know, so once again, touching the wood, I've once again become very, very, I'm very, very lucky with work. Not complacent. I, I'm not one of those people that says, oh, I can get a job anywhere. Absolutely not. I feel very lucky to have been able to get work over the years. And once again, a job is finished and another one's come along just like that. Unbelievable. So he's having two out of the three Saturdays. I think I've got another place um, where I already work, I can't say anything yet, that might want the one of the other Saturdays, which leaves one free, which I might just leave, you know, might just leave that. I, I am tempted to try and get back into weddings and birthdays on Saturday nights. I, I was tempted to do that. That's where, you know, you hire a mobile, mobile DJs. That's how I started. I started being mobile DJ. And I always thought about, ooh, about 22 years ago, I always thought, at some point, I would go back to that, you know? And I don't know if I, 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 I don't know if I, can, I, I want to or not, really. It's, it's quite hard work lifting gear, speakers, equipment, all that sort of thing into a place, setting it up and then doing the job um, as best as you can and then coming out again. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. I thought I would. 
I thought I would, and I, I think I can. You know, sometimes you get a job and you're like, oh, I don't know if I can do that anymore. I think I can do it. I'm not, I'm not totally confident. Maybe that's what's stopping me doing it, and the fact I'm not too confident. But I've never really been confident about anything, to be honest, even doing this show. I'm not confident about this show. You know, it's not like that we've got hundreds or thousands of viewers. But I still do it. I don't know why. You know, if, if one person likes it, then I think it's really worth doing. Anyway, uh, so that's it. You know, two out of the four Saturdays are fulfilled already. Uh, possibility of another one of those. So fingers crossed with that. And uh, we'll see how that goes, all right? Emails. And there's a lot of emails building up at the moment, so apologies to you. Um, they are taking a little while to come through the show just because there's quite a few coming up. Hello to Pat and Lala. And we've got congratulations here. Hi, Chris. How are you? Haven't emailed you for a long time or listened to your show. Do like your new short version of the show, though. Thank you, um, Pat and Lala. And some news for you. Pat and Lala, they used to come to uh, the Golden Lion a few years ago when I was working there to the uh, karaoke nights. And let me tell you, Pat, uh, Lala has the most amazing voice. Amazing voice to sing. And some news for you. Lala and I are now the parents of two gorgeous little babies. Born on the 15th of May. The names are Mia and Finnegan. Lovely names. I started listening to your show again when the babies are feeding. Anyway, just wanted to say hi. And that's from Pat and Lara. So, so two potential new listeners. See what happens if you play on my show, um, Pat and Lala. It might help them to go to sleep. A lot of people fall asleep <laughs> while they're listening or watching the show. It is true. Lovely to hear from you two. And uh, congratulations on the two. New Can you send us some pictures? Send us some pictures of your little babies there. Thank you. Neptune says, I always enjoy your adventures with squirrels. Well, there was one the other day. There was one a couple of days ago sitting on my shed. Fat thing it was as well. There was a fat squirrel sitting on my... That, the, the roof of the shed was bowing inwards. I swear it was. It was sitting there anyway. I kind of ignored it. I'm not going to start shooting at squirrels if they're not bothering me, you know. That's, I think that's a little bit too much. Sean, hello, Sean, says, Chris, I like you doing your show one every day or every so days, whenever you, can, whenever you want to. If you feel comfortable doing 10 minutes, do 10. If you want to do 15, then do 15. Please consider that. And that's from Sean. I like to sort of keep it fairly regular, Sean, you know. I like to keep it regular, so that's why I say 10 minutes, and I, I try and stick to around that figure. It's never, it's, you know, sometimes it's a little bit over, sometimes it's a little bit under. Um, Nick, our cabbie, says a 10-minute daily dose of Chris Redden combined with a green tea from Pret 2 tea bags. Oh, really? You get two tea bags in? I wouldn't. You buy tea from Pret, Pret a manger, or whatever it's called. Oh, come on, Nick. You're throwing money away there, mate. Make a flask. You're going to make a flask, dear. And we're going to come on to the subject of flasks in a minute. Get, take a flask in. Fifi will do it for you, surely, your wife. Um, green tea um, and my own version of cab yoga in the back of Betsy, which is the name of his cab, which normally involves a big stretch into the baker's bag, followed by a deep breath, and then, and it says see more, and I, I haven't... I haven't printed out the rest of it. What an idiot. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Now, flasks. I've got a flask that I often take to work sometimes. I used to take it to church, actually, and have a cup of tea halfway through the service. Um, but it's getting... It's very difficult to clean out. It's a metal. It's all metal. Like one of those thermos all-metal things. So if you drop it, it doesn't smash. Now, someone said that you use bicarbonate of soda to clean it out. Now, I usually clean my cups out with bleach, but I always worry that I haven't got all the bleach out, you know, so I didn't really want to put bleach in the flask. So someone said to buy bicarbonate of soda, and, and soda. So I've just got this now from Sainsbury's. And, um, it, you know, I was looking up and down the cleaning aisle, nowhere to be found. Of course, it was on the baking aisle. And I'm thinking, well, how can that clean that? So I'll ask the woman, and she read the back, and it says, bicarbonate of soda is a great cleaner deodorizer and mild abrasive for use in household cleaning using solution to clean inside of various things so what i've done is put a few teaspoons 
in my metal flask and filled it with boiling water and it fizzed around a little bit and I'm hoping that I clean it out. If I'm doing that wrong, can someone please email in and let me know because I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with this. Is that the right thing to do? All right, time to go. My email address is chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Thanks for watching and listening. See you on the next show. Bye-bye now.